Hi guys, welcome to Office Bloke's Reacts. I'm Office Bloke Dave. I'm Office Bloke Mike. I am Office Bloke Daz. Good stuff. And uh, Office Bloke Mike is going to tell you all about our Patreon page. Indeed. Uh, go to patreon.com, put in Office Bloke's React. Uh, we've got loads of content there. It's not just £1.50 <laughs> or $2.com. <laughs> dot com. <laughs> dot com. Uh, if you want tears, to, if you want to tears. supporting the channel and helping us out uh, keep this content going, then that'd be fantastic. We really do appreciate your support. So uh, go down there and check it out. Yeah, good stuff. And Office Bloke Daz on Instagram is going to tell you all about our two other channels. Cheers, Office Bloke Dave on Instagram. That's all right, no problem. Our other two channels are Office Blokes Try, where we try stuff, and Office Blokes Podcast, where we do podcasts. And on that channel, coming soon, is Office Blokes Confidential. It's true. Office Bloke's Confidential mm. is our new and completely original segment where we're going to be taking viewer submissions. So you can email us, officeblokespodcast at gmail.com. You can send us a bit of text. You can send us videos. You can send us audio clips or you can tag us in social media. And what we want is to hear from you and hear about your dilemmas. Yeah, We mm. want to hear problems in your personal life. Maybe you've hit a crossroads in life. You've got a big decisions to make. Maybe you've had a sketchy night out and made some horrible decisions and you need to figure out how to come to terms with what you've done. Um, yeah, so <laughs> <laughs> just just write to us, and the whole premise is going to be between the three of us. We've got about three thousand years worth of knowledge. <laughs> Love that's right. kind of uh, quick, <laughs> and a little bit of sprinkling of Dave and Daz. Yep, yep. And we are going to try and put a funny spin on it. Maybe give you some advice. Maybe just have a laugh at your expense. Mm. It's as simple as I that. I reckon all of the above. Yeah, all of the above. It's going to be a bit of fun. That's the whole yeah. point. Is we're just trying to have a bit of fun with it. The snowflakes need not apply or listen. Absolutely. What about Karen's? Karen's can fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Over 18s only as well. Uh, yeah, so you've queued this one up, Daz. Yeah, I used to watch the science Shine Seinfeld when I was in the USA. Never watched it. And it was one of my funniest programs I used to watch every week. It was like, you know, real sort of like good real good humour. Right. Yeah. So you've never seen Seinfeld? Never. I've yeah. seen No. Oh, I've seen parodies no. of it. I've seen, I think, Always Sunny in Philadelphia did a, a thing where they were all dressed in a certain way and someone came into the room and there was a laugh track and I'm sure they said Kramer uh, or mm. something. Yeah. I've heard Kramer talked about Kramer loads. Kramer was a great character in it. The only problem yeah. I had with Seinfeld is he went a bit commercial and it's like, I guess he'd become a bit of a dick. Um when he made it sort of like you because he was huge I, it was I, really I know it's huge I've seen the odd clip but I've never seen yeah, Black Jerry. Family so uh, <laughs> yeah. I, I've uh, I've heard him talked about loads mm. like I listen to Andrew Schultz's Flagrant Suit mm. podcast they take the mickey out of Seinfeld a lot because mm. apparently he got big and then he left New York mm. And now the flagrant two guys have all left New York as well. Yeah, like, yeah. They were laying in swimming until yeah. they decided to the do same. it. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, I've never I've never watched an episode, so I don't know. Well Kramer was like the funny one, like the crazy sort of like daft neighbour sort right. of thing who never paid for anything. Yeah. I don't know, a bit like you in the office next to me. Yeah. <laughs> I owe you lunch. <laughs> you do. That's right. Yeah. So let's get into it. Yeah, yeah. let's yeah, do it then. On. Best of Kramer. Right, come on now. That was my mail order bride. And you were at home, so I signed for her. Doesn't give you the right to make up with You her. weren't even married yet. <laughs> all right, all right. Calm down, calm down, calm down. Whatever happened in the past is past. All right. Now, this is the, uh, the basic layout. Lynn and I are reversing the peepholes on our door so you can see in. <laughs> To prevent an ambush. Yeah. So now I can peek in to see if anyone is waiting to jack me with a sock full of pennies. <laughs> but then anyone can just look in and see you. Our policy is we're comfortable with our bodies. <laughs> you know, if somebody wants to help themselves to an eyeful, well, we say enjoy the show. What are you doing? Hey, Silvio. Yeah, I'm reversing my peephole. Hey, you know, you gotta get permission from me. I'm the super. Who said you could do that? Well, who says I can do any of the things I do in my place? Like what? Well, I... Oh, <laughs> well, I'll, um, I'll switch it back. No, 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 no. That's all right. Well, that, well that's good. Because uh, Newman and I, we think that he... Newman? He did this too? Well, yeah. <laughs> It's that bass line that I've heard yeah, yeah, parodied yeah, yeah, yeah. so yeah, many times. Yeah. Someone yeah. makes a bad joke or mm. something weird happens. Yeah. Kramer, it's Silvio. Open up the door. Open up the door. Open up the door. Open up the door. Open up I can see you through the reverse people. <laughs> hey, 
Antonio. Wow. Hey. Well, grab the cigar, boys. Ooh. Yeah, it's time to celebrate. Well, what are we celebrating? Uh, you remember my coffee table book? With the little legs. That's the one. <laughs> a big Hollywood so-and-so optioned it for a movie. How are they going to make that book into a movie? You remember that photo book on toy ray guns? Yeah. Independence Day? <laughs> How much are they paying? Let's just say that I don't have to worry about working for a while. A long while. <laughs> That's funny because I haven't seen you working for a while. A long while. And you're not going to because I'm hanging it up. Boys, I'm retiring. <laughs> From what? <laughs> From the grind. I mean, who needs it? You know, I've accomplished everything I've set out to do. What's that? Oh, bought myself a little retirement gift. Gold watch. Ooh. It's not really gold. Oh. oh. <laughs> Candidate Cosmo Kramer caught... When was this? Uh, I'd say it was the uh, late 90s, early 2000s. Yeah. Oh, really? I mm. thought it was a little bit older than that. So yes, it comes across as old. But remember, technology's moved on real fast. In, yeah, uh, true. In the last ten years. Yeah, yeah. So it's similar time to Friends. Yeah, I suppose mm -hmm. it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Pretty much the same time. Wow, I'm into Friends. This, some of this. How come you haven't got any then? <laughs> That's pretty quick, actually. I'll give you that one. It, it seems a little bit old to me, humour wise. Mm. Yeah, it is dated humour, but it's, it's it's the stuff that when you look at other comedians that have come forward in the last few years, mm. a lot of it's based on this. I feel like if you knew the characters well and you're kind of waiting for that punchline from a certain guy, then it's makes it better. I've, that, yeah, yeah I've like seen most of these. Yeah, yeah, yeah so you, you do get to, need to get to know the characters, I suppose, mm. don't you? Yeah. So get the, the I don't, full sort I don't of know them whatsoever. Right. Oh, that's yeah, the thing. Yeah, that, yeah. That's what I'm getting. That won't, yeah, yeah. won't work as well for you, but I've yeah. seen all these anyway. Right. Okay. So it's, yeah, yeah, it's like good yeah. characters. Yeah. Isn't it? Is it like because we have everybody loves Raymond shoved down your throat in this country? Mm. Loads. It's been a lot. Yeah. It was at the same time. Was it? Yeah. All the same time. What? Everybody I, Loves Raymond, King yeah. of Queens, this. I've, I've watched loads of King of Queens, yeah. loads of Everybody Loves Raymond, but I've never seen an episode mm. of this in my life. No. Weirdly enough. Same here, this yeah. was probably the biggest one out of the three. Wow. Yeah. Barefoot in Clubhouse. <laughs> Barefoot in the Clubhouse, Kramer. Don't you realize this is against the rules? Well, I couldn't find my shoes. <laughs> hey, these people work and wait their whole lives to move down here, sit in the heat, pretend it's not hot, and enforce these rules. Who wants hot chocolate? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a huge scandal. We need damage control. All right, look, people seem to like those tip calculators. Huh? Wizards. Yeah, well, how about if we give one out to every member on the condo board? Kramer. There are 20 people on the board. Thank God you can get that deal. Chaos. Now we're playing politics. All right, what do we do next, Morty? Huh? Wiretap slush funds? First, I need a nap. Oh, I'll get your electric blanket. <laughs> Like you, Mike. I can't get that many wizards. <laughs> what, what about your deal? I didn't huh? have a deal. They're two hundred dollars a pop. What do I do? Well, don't worry about it. I know a guy down here. Yeah, Bob Sacramento's father. That. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you're saying UNICEF is a scam? It's the perfect cover for a money laundering operation. No one can keep track of all those kids with those little orange boxes of change. <laughs> oh no, it's Sally Weaver. Oh, yeah, your old college roommate. Huh? No, it's Susan Ross's old college roommate. She moved to New York a few years ago. She's trying to become an actress. Uh, dramatic or comedian? Untalented. She's always <laughs> inviting me to see her in some bad play in a tiny room without ventilation. It's really depressing. Well, we don't go to enough theater. She should just give up. Hey. hey there, Mr. Too Big to come to my shows. I just came from TAP. I'm all, woo! <laughs> I'm on my way to an audition. I'm still looking for that big break. Why don't you just give up? <laughs> Kramer. Well, that's what Jerry says. <laughs> now, face it, if it hasn't happened, it's not going to happen. All right. Yeah, I'll go grab us a booth. Join us? <laughs> So, Susan's dead. <laughs> I, right, I'll, I'll give you that one. That, that yeah. was funny. <laughs> but that's what he's... That's, what he's, that's his that's, character. Yeah, all the way yeah, through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just blatant bit of a dick. 
Yeah, I could see that being good, that actually getting into it and get to know the characters. I think you'd really enjoy it if you watched it. Yeah, yeah, that's a great, great show. Does he end up, is he deep down a nice guy, but he's just a dick? Uh, He's not a dick, he's just funny. No, no, but like that was a dick thing to say. Yeah, and exactly. that's why it was funny. I, his character portrays where he thinks that's a normal thing to say. Yeah, yeah, just says don't things out. Don't think about. He's what not being he's a saying. dick. He's just thinking. No, but he's, being honest. He's, you know, he's, yeah, yeah, he's a nice guy, but yeah. he's coming across like a dick. Yeah, just, yeah. but he doesn't realise mm. it's not the intent. Yeah, he's 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 the main part in it. I think. Yeah, he's the one that makes it funny. And then oh, he's, he other, he's got George Costanza, which is a little baldy guy. Yeah, and you've got seen him in other chubby guy, and then you've got Elaine, which is the the girl that's in it. Yeah. And it's, uh, it's it's a funny, funny show. I'll give it a go at some point. Yeah, get watching it. Definitely. I think you like, I think the, like it. And the thing you just noticed on the credits, uh, Larry David, is mm. he the one that did one of the Kirby Enthusiasm? Kirby Enthusiasm, yeah. yeah. I thought I'd recognise the name. I'm going to put it out mm. there. I've watched one or two Kirby Enthusiasm and I cannot stand it. It's another one you've got to kind of like get into. I, I tried. Seinfeld, when I first watched Seinfeld, it took me a while to get into it. Yeah. I had to watch it a few times. Yeah. I, I sort of did Kirby Enthusiasm. I watched like a series or two of it, mm. tried to get into it. I sort of, I like quite a lot of it, mm. but there's other bits of it where it's sort of like wasn't quite so keen but it's a, it's, it's quite a decent comedy still though I think yeah. I love cring- yeah. I love cringe comedy I absolutely love it Alan Partridge for me is like the, yeah. the king of uh, cringe comedy mm. and Kirby Enthusiasm is pure cringe comedy but something about it just makes me angry Yeah, I just watch it and I get frustrated watching <laughs> it and I've, right. I've only watched two I think two maybe one or two I I've, like stand up comedy more than anything and yeah. if I'm going to watch a sitcom you know, you got Only Fools and Horses in this country, which is yeah. you know probably one of the best sitcoms we've ever had. Yeah, in the oh, UK. definitely. Yeah. I think Seinfeld's on par with that. Right, okay. On the same wow. sort of level yeah. of, of humour, but it's 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 the different. You've got the the British humour and the American humour with the, you know, the two different programmes. Yeah, yeah. And sometimes it doesn't always cross over for people. To, but I was living there at the time, and it was absolutely. I thought it was my go-to show. Yeah. I used to watch it. I don't think of this one. Did you used to watch things like uh, Cheers as well? Yeah, just like that. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah. I've yeah. seen yeah. a bit of Cheers. Yeah. yeah. I've seen one or two, and it, that was enjoyed good. I, it. I like Fraser as well. Spin off, but this was the best. Really this like was the best one for me. Yeah. Was it? Yeah. yeah. I can see cringe comedy as a bit of a British thing. Like our levels of sarcasm work with mm. cringe comedy. Yeah. And I'd, I'm for me, it doesn't translate as well over to the states when they do cringe comedy. Mm. If you know what I mean. Yeah. And that's what I thought. Kirby enthusiasm was. It was pure cringe. Right. But yeah, this, this was uh, Seinfeld was brilliant. Really yeah. was. Yeah. yeah. No, it looks good. That it looks funny. Yeah. yeah. Funny program. <laughs> She was happy someone finally said it. Why did you have to say anything to her? I thought the conversation was laggy. <laughs> Why can't you ever just keep your big mouth shut? I come in here to have a pleasant meal, and if we're not going to have one, I'll grab a bite to eat at your place. <laughs> you know, maybe Kramer was right. Some people... Kramer, get in Kramer! Kramer! What are you doing? Come and talk to us. I made an important life decision. Let's talk about that. Don't leave. Uh, all right. I, uh, I know I've been kind of shooting off at the mouth lately. Uh, first, with that girl whose life you destroyed. And, uh, and then about George dating a, a lady, Jerry. What's the decision? I know you want me to keep my big mouth shut. Well, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm never going to talk again. Yeah, right. What do I need to talk for, huh? What, the blab to the neighbors about how George has a new femme Jerry friend? (laughs) Tell everybody at the coffee shop how George is all mixed up in a perverse sexual amalgam of some girl and his best friend? (laughs) See, now, I've done all that. Now, it's time for silence. Silence? Yes! Kramer, you're never going to be able to completely stop talking. Jerry, 94% of communication is nonverbal. Here, watch. (laughs) What does this mean? Well, it's Frank and Estelle's reaction to hearing about George's man love for a (laughs) CJ. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! (laughs) Yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. I need to get to know the character more. To really get some of it, yeah, you know sort of I mean? getting that character a bit. He looks, he looks cool. really funny. We'll see, see, how it, see how it goes, and then we can uh, maybe watch more of him on here. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Not, if not, I'd definitely suggest watching the uh, starting from the beginning and watching yeah. it because it is. I mean, the beginning might be a bit far back, but uh, it's, it's, it really is good. I think it's the interaction between the characters, and that's why, like, I can watch Friends all day, every day. Then you like that? I, I grew up on Friends. I know who's mm. who and the interactions yeah. and everything. 
And it's never life changing comedy. It's just mm. comfortable if you're not. Yeah, because you know the characters, and a lot of the time you sort of know what's coming, but you expect something that's coming. And yeah, you, it's a familiarity see, you're, that comes. You're preempting the actual humour, yeah. aren't you? And when you get to yeah, know yeah. it like that, the whole thing just becomes even funnier. But yeah. uh, if, if, if you like Friends, you'll like that. Yeah, yeah, for totally. sure. I think that, that is the thing with sitcoms is it's got to be familiar, and then it's easy watching, yeah. isn't mm. it? When you first start something like that, you don't know who's who, you don't yeah, know what's yeah, going yeah. on. Got to yeah. have great characters. If you haven't, then yeah. it's absolute complete waste of time. I, mean, I think in Seinfeld they've got four very very good characters, and then a couple of the periphery ones, which is George's mum and dad, right? Uh, they own things like. And then but strong cast. And you got Newman. Yeah, yeah, it's brilliant. It's great. Yeah. And there's some big names in there as well. You'll see faces that come through the accident. Yeah. With big yeah. names. Right. You know, Jerry Stiller was his. Uh, was his played his dad, George's dad. Oh, did he? Ben Stiller's dad. Right. Okay. Oh, really? Uh, mm. Nice one. Wow. Yeah. 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 So nice. yeah, looks good. Yeah. Looks good, that. Yeah. Funny. Hope you guys like that too. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the bell and all that good stuff. And we'll catch you on the next one. Cheers, guys. Cheers.